Gospel of January 26, 2015, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The scribes who had come from Jerusalem said of Jesus, He is possessed by Beelzebul, and by the prince of demons he drives up demons. Summoning them, he began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself, is divided. He cannot stand. That is the end of him. But no one can enter a strong man's house to plunder his property, unless he first ties up the strong man. Then he can plunder his house. Amen, I say to you, all sins and all blasphemies that people utter will be forgiven them. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never have forgiveness. But it is guilty of an everlasting sin, for they had said, He has an unclean spirit. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We people tend to start saying all kinds of stupid things when we are trying to convey a lie as a truth. These scribes from Jerusalem, seeing that the Lord is expelling the demons, cannot stand that situation and cannot explain it. And rather than accepting that the Lord has the power of God and is doing it for good, they want to accuse him of having the power of Satan himself. He is he's possessed by Beelzebul, by Satan, and that's how he drives out demons. And the Lord confronts them. How can Satan drive himself out? That is so stupid. Yet what they're saying is that, that Satan itself is fighting against him, his own self. If the kingdom is divided against itself, then the kingdom cannot stand. And then he says something interesting. No one can enter a strong man's house unless he first ties up the strong man. That strong man is the image of Satan which we cannot overcome by ourselves. But the Lord certainly can. No one can stand up to the Lord, to the Holy Spirit, and much less to the Father. Satan cannot even fight with any of the archangels archangels, as we know from Michael, the archangel, who beat him. Satan is just all bluff, just as the scribes. And the Lord says to them, all blasphemies, all sins will be forgiven. But the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit will not be. Why would God forgive blasphemies and sins against Himself, against the Father and the Son, but not forgive the blasphemy and sin against the Holy Spirit? It is very interesting because I take it that as they were accusing Jesus to have an unclean spirit, he made it very clear that the Son of Man, Jesus, true God and true man, was entirely filled in the plenitude of the Holy Spirit. And through the Holy Spirit, he produced all those miracles. The Holy Spirit is the gift that in Luke we read how the Lord says, if you know you that are evil know how to do how to give good things to your to your children how much more so your father in heaven will give you the holy spirit if you ask him for it and also in the gospel of john the lord says no one can come to the son unless my father allows him there is this saint saint simon back in the 10th century who used to express his thoughts in this way. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit, is like the key that opens the door, who happens to be the Christ, to enter into the mansion that happens to be the Father. 
So if we want to go into heaven, you have to have the key to open the door to enter into heaven. And that key is the Holy Spirit. If we were to reject the Holy Spirit, we would never be able to get that key. We would never be able to get the water, as I would like to, to call it. The water that basically makes our hardened, dirt hearts moist and ready for the word, for the word as seed. We are like hardened soil, the dirt, that due to the lack of water has become so hardened that it resembles a stone. And also our pridefulness makes it so. But when the Holy Spirit touches us and we allow Him, it starts to melt that hardness until we are soft and ready to receive the seed of the Word. Then afterwards, without us knowing how exactly, we can start producing fruit for the Lord. If we blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, we will never be able to receive that Holy Spirit, which is the key to our salvation. Today, dear brothers, let us humbly ask our Father that He might again send His Holy Spirit to each one of us and to all our brothers, to all His children throughout the world, until we are ready to again receive the seed of His Word, to give good fruits according to the will of our Father. God bless you all, brothers.